Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Meng, and I welcome you to the first part of Let's Play Fire Emblem 7. Yes, the draft is finally complete. If you want to watch what kind of characters I'll be using in this Let's Play, click the link in the video description and watch the draft video. I uh, explain in detail what kind of characters I'm going to be using, as well as listing some facts like their growths and base stats if you're interested in that. So definitely go check that out if you haven't already. We are going to be starting on Chapter 11. We're going to be playing the Hector Hard mode, which is the greatest challenge in Fire Emblem 7 and my favorite uh, mode to play. Now, many of you have been asking me, Manx, why don't you start out at uh, Lin's hard mode? And I have played that, but I've played it off screen. Now, the reason behind that is that I find it very boring, and it is extremely easy as well. It's basically just a tutorial without the tutorial in it. So, for that reason, I thought it was was best to like not waste three or four parts to cover a boring story. You've all seen Lin's story anyway, so it's not like you're missing out on anything. So... Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let us jump into the first chapter, which is going to be very interesting for a reason I will explain to you soon. Yes, yes, here ends Lin's story, blah, 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 blah. I would like to save and all that good stuff. Of course, I'd like to continue playing. One year later, after Lundgren's death. Mm -mm -mm. A month has passed since word of Marcus Ferris' disappearance. Rumors and speculation run rampant throughout Lucia. The head of House Ostia, Lord Uther, takes no apparent interest. The Marcus's younger brother is considered odd by the populace. He and Marcus's fair son, Eliwood, are fast friends. A hot-blooded youth, he cannot ignore his friend's plights. Marcus Ostia's younger brother, Hector, he would one day become a courageous general, a steel warrior to be feared. The path he chooses will test him to the limits of his strength. Indeed, indeed. I don't know if you could hear that, but I accidentally knocked something over on my table. Alright, chapter 11, another journey. Da -da -da -da. Castle Ostia. This is an amazing theme. Brother! Brother, where is he? He's here, isn't he? Lord Hector, calm yourself. No words, Oswin, just move. That's enough, Hector. What's the meaning of this? You know full well, the disappearance of Marcus Vera. We've discussed this time and time again. This matter is none of Ostia's affair. We have no reason to involve ourselves. It would be folly to do so. Eliwood's father is missing, for goodness sake. We know that Marcus Lars is connected in some way. I say we use Ostia's might to end this mystery and find the truth. Calm yourself, you fool. An invasion would be madness. Lysia can ill afford the chaos such an action would bring. Surely even you must understand that. Bah, I understand all too well, brother. Stay there on your throne. Sit there until it rots beneath you. I will do this alone. Lord Hector, you should watch your tone. Peace, Oswin. Let him go. There's no reasoning with him when he gets like this. Matthew! Matthew! Blast it, where could he be? I'm right here! You... you're not a wraith! Stop skulking in the shadows like one! Huh? A wraith? And here I thought I was a spy. <laughs> Be that as it may. As my lord ordered, here are your travel rations and your beloved axe. And I purchased the silence of some royal guardsmen. You're free to slip out the rear entrance and vanish. <laughs> well done, Matthew. Try not to let my brother discover my absence too quickly. What? I thought I was going with you. You're a bigger fool than I'd imagined. Did you think I would trust my brother's spy? Who knows when you would tr turn me in for some favor? Where I go, I go alone. Shh! You keep on shouting and you'll go nowhere. Every guard in the palace must have heard that. Heh! <laughs> Do not try and follow me. I didn't imagine you would find me so untrustworthy. Professional hazard, it seems. Watch yourself, young master. Huh? He gave up too easily. I don't trust him. The time has come. I got to go to get out of here and rendezvous with El Eliwood. These bags. What did Matthew put in these things? This is ridiculous, even if he was packing for two. Huh? Come out. I know you're there. Who are you? Too dumb to speak. Makes no difference to me. Move out of my way or I'll run you through. Ah! 
Ah, uh, me lord, stay your arm. It's me. Ooh, Matthew? I was sure you were one of them. Well, I'm not. I'm one of me. And I would prefer to remain in one piece. Your fault for jumping out of nowhere. Now tell me, what, do you, what are you doing here? Hmm? I sensed that something was wrong and uh, came to your aid. My aid? I'll accept that answer for the time being. So, what should we do? About what? About the fellows between us and the way out. I'd say there are seven or eight of them. Uh, to make matters worse, they seem highly competent. I know you're quite confident in your martial abilities, but I'm not the strongest sword I'm around, and well... If you got something to say, Matthew, then say it. We could abandon the rare entrance. I'm sure the Royal Guardsmen would be happy to aid us, and... Never! That's what I thought you would say. Ah, oh, all that's left is to avoid getting killed, right? You can go back if you want. In your own words, my lord, never. I'm with you, wherever that may lead. Right, then let's give him the good trashing and get out of here. Alright, this map is actually kind of difficult, and it has kicked my ass on several occasions. Uh, and to make matters worth... <laughs> make matters worth... To make matters worse, guess who's not part of the draft? Yes, it's Hector, so I can't use him. Which means Matthew are gonna have to solo this level. Yeah, I'm not even fucking joking. Luckily, I did level Matthew up in the Lin story knowing this, so I did level him up to level 10 on purpose. I was kind of lucky with his strength growth. He got a lot of points in strength. So I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, there's no way that level 2 Matthew would have been able to solo this. I would have had to break the rules and use Hector. So, uh, but let's see how Matthew does. So I'm going to leave Hector up here in the corner. I can't even use him because that's the draft rules. You can't use them in any way. So what I'm going to start with is I'm not going to go this way. Because this way is littered with enemies. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to break through this wall. I will do so in two run turns. And uh, we'll see how that goes. However, there are a lot of lance users here, which is not good. Um, so we're just gonna have to see how that goes. Now, I'm not sure if the anima animations are actually off. I don't... I'm gonna put them to two. I do like playing with animations. Alright, let us end the turn and see what happens to that archer. We're gonna have to take things nice and slowly. Oh, the archer actually trapped himself. That is just wonderful. So, a stroke of luck right there. Uh, he actually did something incredibly stupid, and now I'm gonna kill him as a result of it. Now, there is a red gem in the chest. Uh, I would like to get that. Uh, money early on is quite sparse. And, uh... Of course, I'm gonna try to steal as many vulnerabilities as I can. Now, I probably... I can use Hector as a storage guy. I could dump some vulnerabilities on him, but I can't use him in combat. Uh, however, uh, when the thief goes and takes the chest, he will try to escape. So, you can always kill him and take the gem from him. So, he's, he's also gonna open some doors for us. So, yeah. Luckily, that, that missed, and we're actually gonna uh, double this guy. And get a crit. How? Oh, holy crap. Matthew is on crack. Wow. He's really good. So yeah, I'm really glad that I leveled him up. If I hadn't done that, that this would be impossible. So I'm gonna go go and open this door now. And uh, if the thief tries to steal the red gem, I'll try to... Oh, that alerted everyone. That's not good. Okay, so I would like I would like to take that gem from him. Uh, let's see if I can kill him. I can, actually. The problem with that, however, is that there's a lot of soldiers coming for me. So this is gonna... I'm just gonna have to gamble. Um... First of all, I hope I'm going to hit him on both attacks. Luckily, I dodged. And this is going to give me the red gem, so... Luckily... I'm going to bring Hector a little bit closer because I want to dump some vulnerabilities on him. Okay, so here comes the Armor Knights. Can't really do shit against this guy. L my god, I am lucky. Holy crap, I am so extremely lucky. Uh, I'm actually a little bit worried uh, about the boss, actually, come to think of it. Hit points and luck. Not a good level up. Luck is always good, but I prefer to level something else than just luck. Alright, so... This is actually a little bit problematic right here. Uh, there's a lot of enemies coming my way. Also, I want to check out the boss. How much defense does he have? 14 defense. How much damage does Matthew do? 15. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, okay. That is bad. That is really bad. Um, anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to retreat back, and uh, I actually... I can't use Hector, I know that. But still. 
I'm not sure if I can keep Hector away from the action right here. I'm gonna try my best. Now, the thing is, I wanna get Matthew on, onto the pillar. Because, uh, he needs the avoidance from it. There's no way I can fight those guys straight up. And, ow, that's the first hit. One more of those and I will die. So, uh, this could very well be a fail right here. I might just not, I might just have to abandon that way. Actually, okay, so this is where I die. Yes, that's a fail. Um, naturally, this being a draft, I can't, if I lose my last draft character, then obviously I can't finish the map, so I'm gonna have to restart this. So it was a nice, uh, oh, I just ended the turn. <laughs> well, Hector is actually kind of weak here in the early going because he is level one, so he might actually die here. And I've already broken the rules, so I need to reload the game. But Hector will actually probably die here. He doesn't, he's, he starts off very weak, so. Alright, archers, come on. Okay, so Hector seems uh, hellbent on living right here. Alright, so uh, if I'm gonna do this, I might just have to abandon. I'm gonna go restart the chapter right now. But it was a nice, it was a nice try, and with a lot of luck, I could probably make it happen. But I was extremely lucky, and I still died. So, what I could do, however, um, is I could try to go this way and use the pillar. It is, it is worth a try at least. Oh, the animations are off, of course. When I played through the Lin story mode, I, I did play without the animations, so that's why they're off. Okay. So, I'm gonna see if I can, uh, I can kill this guy for sure, and then I'm gonna see if I can use the pillar to my advantage. I might just have to abandon the red gem, uh, as much as I don't want to. I think getting it will be fairly difficult. I think I can kill this archer in one turn, so let's see how that goes. The archers are coming towards me. They're not quite smart enough to break up the walls, though. Which is kinda weird. Alright. I will kill this guy in one turn, hopefully. Unless I get a 3% miss. And then I'm probably gonna go onto the pillar and uh, use a vulnerary. Unless that uh, soldier goes on. The archer might actually go on the pillar if he can afford the movement costs, which he can't, actually. Oh, thank you. But why is it that every time you get a critical in Fire Emblem, it's always on the attack that would have killed the enemy anyway? It's always like that. Oh, is this going to be a kill? Yeah, I think Matthew will die here. Yeah, that's the second fail. So this is already turning out to become quite difficult. However, I think I have a plan right now. Try to solve this chapter with Matthew's madness in the first place, but I am hellbent on doing it, so... Um... I quite welcome the challenge, actually. I, I love Fire Emblem like this. I love I love being challenged in weird ways. So what I think I might have to do now is I'm going to have to wait for the thief to open that door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start breaking up the wall. Now, the archer did position himself quite retardedly, so... Um, so it's actually a pretty cool thing. But why didn't the soldier move? That's kind of weird. Why didn't the soldier move? Oh, well. Oh, wait, he's going to move right now. Never mind. It's gonna move like that, the archer's gonna move like that, and it's gonna be amazing, so... Um, I should actually move Hector right after killing these two. Okay, so the archer is down. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make a, make a run for it. Once the soldier has killed me, that is. Vulnerary. Good, good. Now I will be able to kill this guy too. Sadly, he did hit me right there. Which is a big shame. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna I'm gonna run all the way over here, drink a vulnerary. I'm gonna follow it up with Hector, and I'm just gonna try to intercept the thief on the way out, pretty much. What I eventually could do is I could kill the thief as he goes out. That could actually work, um, because he's gonna open up that door now, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he is. So if I just go and kill the thief right now, if that's not gonna, if that one's not gonna pull them though, I, I am not sure. But uh, I'm actually gonna be moving away from him. Let's see, his movement is one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's gonna be able to attack me here. So oh, I should have opened up the door. What the hell am I doing? Okay, so they are coming towards me. 
And, of course, the thief is leaving through that entrance. Well, that's just bloody brilliant, isn't it? Um, okay. Well, fuck the red gem, then. Who really cares, anyway, right? Oh, he's gonna... What the hell is he doing? Alright, so... Uh, if Matthew is on the pillar, he should be able to handle these guys. He gets a lot of avoidance from that, but it's, it might not be enough. So what I need to do now is I need to go and deal... He's, the thief is actually coming back. That's interesting. I thought he would leave there. Alright, so I'm gonna try to take down the, the, this archer because he was stupid enough to come by himself. And then I'm gonna position myself on the pillar and hope and pray to the RNG goddess that I can take down the soldiers as well. Uh, luckily, the armor knight is not moving. And that's good. So we won't have to deal with him. Oh, I might actually... If, it, if I dodge this, which I'm not gonna do. Okay. Here comes the thief as well. It's actually really weird. Okay, so his movement is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, if I do this, then does the boss have anything ranged? And uh, now he only has an Iron Lance, actually, so I'm going to position Hector right here because it is a safe spot. And I would love, absolutely love to just kill this guy, but I can't, so that actually makes the decision kind of easy. Alright, Matthew. You need a little bit of luck to make this work, but you can definitely do it. 40% chance to hit. Come on, yes! Good job. Couldn't quit kill the soldier in one turn, sadly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, good, good. That's the second soldier down. That is the second soldier down. And a level up for Matthew. I, you need to level up strength or else we're going to have some... Yes! Strength, skill, and speed. That is perfect. Uh, I need strength to defeat that boss. Okay. Now, the question is, is, is the thief going to attack me as well? Ah! And I'm going to do something really risky here. Oh my god, this is so risky. Oh my god, I'm probably going to regret that. Oh my god, so, so this guy does 15 damage. Ah, Jesus Christ. Uh, do I want to try and go, and go for the red gem? This guy does 12 damage. Yeah, Matthew will die if he's not on the pillar. Well, goodbye, Red Gem. It was nice knowing you. I can't risk it. Not that I've not not when I've gotten this nice of a start. I'm not gonna let Matthew die. Although Hector might actually block the red the thief, which is not sure if that's cheating or not. But I didn't really have any other place to, uh, places to place him. So, oh, oh, okay. You know, that is interesting. So this guy deals 12 damage, which becomes 8 damage. This guy deals 13 damage, which becomes 9 damage. So 8 plus 9, that is actually, he's gonna have one hit point remaining. Okay, of course, not considering the thief might hit him as well. But that doesn't stop me from stealing his red gem. So I'm actually gonna get the red gem. I wonder why the thief is running around opening up all the locks. That's actually very interesting. I could be lucky, though. Okay, so that other guy is going to do 8 damage to me. Which is going to leave me on 1 hit points. I hope that... Oh, good, good, good. I dodged that. That is amazing. Now, if I kill the guy that did 9 damage... Oh, crap. The thief is attacking me as well. Thank God that I dodged that. Holy crap. It's a good thing I dodged. So, uh, a little bit of luck. But ice cold calculation. Make sure Matthew lives to see another day. Now, they might actually go for Hector. They might very well go for Hector, but that's completely fine, because Hector's defense is kind of okay. I'm gonna put Hector away. No, they're actually going for Matthew, because Matthew's defense is much lower, even though they are having difficulties hitting him. Thank God for pillars. My God. Thank God for pillars. His iron sword might break soon, for all I know. It's been used pretty frequently. Yes, I'm gonna go take down the guy that deals 14 damage... 13 damage, sorry. I can also steal his vulnerary, but I'm not gonna spend a turn doing that. Actually, I might need to do that if I'm gonna have any chance of taking down the boss. However, I'm not gonna survive, uh, so I need to kill him. I'm not gonna survive both of them hitting me, so... Sadly... Oh, I could've killed... I could've killed the other guy and then stolen the vulneraries in the next turn. That was kinda stupid of me. I need all the vulneraries I can get right now. That's kind of stupid. 
Okay, thank god I dodged that. Uh, there are no forts in this game, so there's no way I can heal up. Maybe that guy has a vulnerary as well, actually. He does not. The armor knight might have one. I'm not sure. Alright, another level up. Please get strength. You need strength if you're going to be able to deal with the boss. Come on! Ah, hit points and speed. Bloody hell. Okay, so... This, this guy this guy actually has a vulnerary, and it even... We need a vulnerary. We really do. If we're on the... If we if we are on the pillar... This guy has a hit of 90. On the pillar, Matthew, even with the weapon triangle disadvantage, will actually not have a great chance of being hit by this guy. So, let's try it. So we really need that vulnerary. Okay, here we go. 42% chance to be hit. Come on, Matthew. Oh, you know what? A critical right now would just be amazing. That would be fucking amazing right now. Okay, so I'm actually just going to steal the vulnerary right away. Because uh, I can't afford to. If he hits me one time, then it's I'm only one hit away from being killed. So, Besides, it's some bonus experience that is always welcome. So, come on. Fuck. Fuck! Alright. Let's use the vulnerary. I did get the red gem though, that was kind of that was kinda cool. I like that. Okay, please do not hit me. Dodge, 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 dodge. Yes! Yes, armor knight down. Armor knight down. Oh, and now you get your critical. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Didn't get a level, though. That kind of sucks. Alright. Only the boss remaining. Not sure how we're going to do this. Really not sure at all. I actually do not think it is possible to kill this guy with Matthew. I really don't. Even though he does have a vulnerary on him. But still. How much damage does this guy do? He does 18 damage. Holy crap. Ah, oh, Yeah. No, Matthew can't kill him. It is actually impossible. Okay, so there, if I do not cheat now and use Hector, then I literally cannot complete this chapter, so I, I have no choice. I have to use Hector. However, I did manage to kill every other enemy in the game except for Matthew, so I'm pretty happy about that. And I did get the red gem, which is something, something that is kind of tricky to do. So yeah, because of Matthew's low strength, I cannot kill the boss. You're still spy? Why did you return? <laughs> I've known you were here for some time. I also knew you were after Lord Hector, not me. You're all professional assassins. You wait for your chance, and you don't miss it. You were waiting for me to leave Lord Hector alone. That's when you were planning to attack, right? Ha! <laughs> so that's why you came back, is it? I was sure you'd gone back to play with the gods. Ha! <laughs> if I had, I would have taken Lord Hector with me. No matter what he took. Huh, <laughs> cheeky fellow, aren't you? But you're out of your league. How so? You think you challenged me? Prepare to die, you witless fool! Ah! I didn't think quite think that true, did you? Because the question is, can Hector take out this guy without any levels? Um, that might actually be a tough choice. Alright, good job, Matthew. You did well. <laughs> really gonna give props to Matthew for this one. He really did well. Good soft... Actually, the hand axe does zero damage. Why is this guy so strong? Seriously. Was this guy always this powerful? Alright. Uh, wolf Bill time. Let's see how it goes. Wolf Bill is really powerful, though. Yep. Yeah. And Hector actually does not double this guy, so... Yeah. I'm gonna have to call for Vulnerary, because Hector can only survive three of those attacks, so we need to keep him healed up. There we go. The two more attacks remaining. Hector needs to hit on every single one, though. That's kind of important. I'm gonna use a uh, vulnerary. It's probably not necessary, but uh, I would be so terrible to die now. I would not like that at all. So, come on, Hector! Uh, uh, forgive me, Lord Nergal. So yes, Nurgle is actually mentioned in the very first chapter in which Hector is involved, which is kind of hilarious. Okay, congrats on level up unit which we are not going to use. It's a pretty good level up as well. Hector has pretty good growths. Alright, 
Huh, that was close. Glad we're both alright. Come, my lord, we must fly. The castle guard must have heard all the noise. Matthew, you rogue. You knew this was all going to happen, didn't you? What else could I do? Those assassins wouldn't show themselves until you were alone. I suppose. Mark my words, Matthew, you're coming with me. But from this point forward, you are no longer my brother spy. You're my man now, to the bitter end. Yes, my lord. Shall I swear a knightly wow? To what purpose? Your own words will hold you well enough. True enough. Let us go then, to Ellywood. My lord, Marcus, it's Lord Hector. He's... he's gone, isn't he? Yeah, yes, my lord. We're gathering men now to give the chase. Attend me. We will let him go. My lord? Ah, headstrong fool. Oh. <laughs> lord Uther, are you well? I'm fine. It has passed. There is no need for concern. You must not rely so much on physical strength alone. It has been most trying these past few weeks. The affairs of the court have not let you sleep. You might endanger your health if you keep on. Yes, Oswin, I understand. I will speak with the physician on the morrow. Will that alert allay your fears? Yes, my lord. I shall make the arrangements. Oswin, about Hector. I can entrust him to you, yes? Of course, my lord. I will guard him with my very life's blood. Alright, so we successfully managed to get through that level using almost only Matthew alone. So I'm quite happy with that. Anyway, this was the end of part one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. My name is Finn Mangs, and I'll see you next time.